do you want to make it easy for people to schedule a one-off event with you? So that could be a video meeting over Zoom or, or using Teams. Well, you can really do it very easily using Calendly. Let me show you how. So in Calendly, you may have your different event types already set up with your availability for them, but this one is just a one-off. So we just go over to create here and a one-off meeting. And what you can do is set aside some times that are going to suit the other person. And so that's called a reserved time. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to say that this meeting is going to be one hour. If you want it to be longer, you can go over to custom here and specify that in minutes. But I'm just going to make it a one hour meeting. And I'm going to say that I'm going to be available for that on uh, at 11 a.m. on Wednesday or at, uh, let's make it um, 1 p.m. on Thursday. Okay, so those are the two reserved times. So we click on next. And what we're going to be able to do is specify the kind of meeting. Hey, I'm going to do a YouTube channel review to see how your channel is going and what you should be focusing on next. Now the location is actually going to be over Zoom. And so if you want to integrate Calendly and Zoom, if you haven't done that already, then check out this video here uh, that I'm posting right now. Uh, or you can also integrate Calendly and Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, and so on. So we're going to Zoom. And I always like to add a little agenda here. Hey, this is what we're going to cover in the meeting. Whatever the agenda is, this is going to improve your uh, show up rate okay it's going to reduce the no shows because people know why they're coming now the reserve time I love this so I've set aside two times in the calendar and so what what we can do is we can actually mark those off really pencil them in uh, as placeholders so that nobody else is going to be able to book those times and then once your invitee has actually booked one of those times then the other one is released okay so publish meeting so that was really nice and easy and what you can see is that the link that i'm going to be using it's already got a really clean nice url here youtube channel review because that was the topic of my meeting now you can add the times into email which is an even nicer way of presenting it and making it really easy for people to book a time so i'm going to click copy link there and so that is in my clipboard now and we just need to close this and what you can see here is that you've got your scheduled events here under pending you can see that this is the one with the times available, okay? With the reserved times. You can always go back and clear those reserved times. You can copy the link and of course you can delete that uh, reservation if you, if you need to. And so this is a really easy way for people to schedule a meeting with you at a time that suits you both. Now just a word about connecting Calendly to Zoom or Teams, you just go into integrations here and you only have to do this uh, once. You can do it for Zoom, for example, and that will automatically include the Zoom link in the Calendly event. That makes it really easy for people to open the right link to dial straight into the Zoom meeting. And you can do the same thing with Teams or with Google Meet, and you've got some other options in there as well.